Welcome back to Everyday Eats with Michelle. Fall is officially here, so we're gonna cook up what some people consider to be the ultimate in comfort food, baked ziti. Let's get started. First thing you're gonna need to do is cook up one pound of ziti until it's just underdone and still firm. It'll finish cooking later in the oven. I've added a little bit of sauce just to help prevent it from sticking while it's hanging out and we do other stuff. For that sauce, I'm using a store-bought marinara sauce. It's our Wegmans brand, a local market, Highly recommend it. If you have a Wegmans near you, check out their smooth marinara. It's fantastic for this and pretty much any other pasta dish. Now it's a pretty flavorful sauce, but I'm gonna amp that up just a little bit and add in two teaspoons dried oregano, two teaspoons dried basil, and a teaspoon of dried thyme. To that, as usual, we're gonna add in a little bit of salt, a little bit of freshly cracked black pepper, get that all stirred up and combined, and then we're gonna take some of that sauce and add a thin layer to the bottom of a 13 by nine inch baking dish. Get that nice and spread out. It's gonna help prevent our pasta from sticking to the bottom. Once we have our sauce done there, we're gonna add about a half, maybe a little bit less of that sauce right down into our pasta. I'm not a big fan of dried pasta dishes, so I'm gonna add sauce in wherever I can. So once we've got our sauce nicely mixed in there, lots of people would just go right ahead and put the ricotta in the bottom of the pan. We'll get there, but I also like to put a couple healthy doses of ricotta cheese right into my pasta. It gives it a wonderful, smooth, creamy texture that I absolutely love. I'm still gonna add some ricotta to the bottom of the pan. Just a couple dots across the entire length of our baking dish is perfectly fine. A little bit of cheese is a beautiful thing. Now we're gonna add in some fresh mozzarella. I had an eight inch ball of mozzarella. I cut into quarter inch slices. We'll throw a couple down now. And then about half of our pasta mixture is gonna go right down over the top of this. We'll get it all nicely smoothed out. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna add in another layer of that mozzarella cheese. I ended up using the rest of that eight ounce ball right here on this layer. Then we're gonna do the traditional shredded mozzarella cheese, that stuff that comes in the bag pre-shredded that adds that wonderful stretchy cheesy texture that we're all looking for in a big ziti. Put down as much as you would like in this first half, this first layer. I also pan seared some chicken, just a little bit underdone because again it's going to cook in the oven later. Totally forgot about it. Not a big deal. I'm just going to cut it up into some healthy sized chunks and add a layer of it just down over the top of what I've already got going on. Normally you would chunk it up and mix it in with your pasta before you add it to the baking dish. Not a big deal, doesn't matter. Add about half of it here, throw the rest of it into the pasta that I already had and move on with our day. So I'm gonna add about, maybe about half of the pasta sauce that we have left right down over the top. And here's why it doesn't matter. I like to distribute my sauce throughout my layers. This is not a lasagna. I'm not looking for perfect layers. I am looking to get that sauce nicely distributed. Same thing with the cheese and you know, that chicken that we kind of forgot about earlier. So we'll get that all nicely distributed, smooth it back out, and then we'll add in the rest of our pasta. Notice how the chicken is in this part of the pasta. It's not a perfect dish, doesn't matter as long as it all gets in there, you're perfectly fine. And then we're gonna add in the rest of our sauce right down over the top. Get that spread out. This, I mean, this is looking pretty, pretty tasty right now. I honestly cannot wait to dig into this later. But get it all nicely spread out across your dish. And we're gonna add a little bit more of the ricotta cheese to the top. I don't know if that's typical, but if you've learned anything from this channel is that cheese is good. So add a little extra here and there, not a big deal. Final layer is gonna be some more of that shredded mozzarella cheese. I bought a one pound bag. I honestly used most of it in this particular little dish here. Don't judge. It's gonna go into a 450 degree oven, about 15, 20 minutes. You're looking for it to get bubbly and saucy. The cheese is beautifully melted. It's taken on a little bit of color. And I can tell you, I can totally see why lots of people consider this the ultimate in comfort food. It is saucy, it is cheesy. It is perfect for those upcoming really chilly fall and honestly really cold winter nights we got coming up relatively soon. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Please consider subscribing if you haven't already. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.